India scripted a new chapter in the history of space exploration with the successful launch of a record 104 satellites by ISRO in a single mission. Recently, Akash Manoj, a grade 10 student of Tamil Nadu, India, has developed a device which can detect silent heart attack, thus making him one of the youngest inventors of India. Science affects and plays a vital role in each and every aspect of life today. I wish to become a teacher who can engage to communicate science and its important aspects to a wider public and to create an interest and scientific temper in them for societal benefits. India is one of the fastest growing economies on earth with ambitions to become one of the world's most dominant superpowers. India's ancient knowledge remains an untold story. We all know how India has profoundly shaped the modern world. India has produced many modern scientists. C. V. Raman, who won the Nobel Prize for his pioneering work on scattering of light. Satyendra Nath Bose made outstanding contributions to the field of quantum physics. He is famous for the Bose-Einstein theory. Jagdish Chandra Bose, father of wireless telecommunication. Homi Jahangir Baba, architect of the Indian Atomic Energy Program. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the father of Indian Space Program. Some of the latest advancement in space research includes the GSLV Mark III, the Cartosat II, the IRNSS series and the Mangalyan mission. All this stands out as a testimony that shows India's long strides to be superpower, fulfilling APJ Abdul Kalam's dream. Needless to mention, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the missile man of India, who played an important role in developing the current Agni range of missiles. Science India Forum is proud to be associated with the missile man and realize his vision of developed India. In order to materialize this vision, Science India Forum was formed in Bahrain in 2012 under the patronage of the Embassy of India by a group of volunteers with the support of Vigyan Bharati and ISRO. I believe that science education should not be limited to the classroom syllabus. The students must be able to read science in the class and beyond. And this is exactly what Science India Forum in Bahrain strives for. The future of any nation lies on its next generation, the youth, and I feel immensely proud and privileged to be at the service of our great nation. As a student, I can contribute to the cause of science by sharing the scientific streak in me, my knowledge and valuable experiences gained as a Sats Padiba to my fellow classmates and the people who are in need of it, especially the not so privileged. The mission is very close to my heart and I look to take it up actively in the near future. Opportunities are ample and I hope events like Saspadiba will help me develop a better understanding of things and gain further clarity of vision and perspective. In 2013, Science India Forum Bahrain conducted the first Shastra Pratibha contest. 4,000 students from six Indian curriculum schools participated in the contest. Over the past four years, the popularity of the contest has risen with more than 8,000 students participating in 2017. The winners are given the title Shastra Pradiva. Many students, including Bahraini students, have achieved high grades in the contest. As a Shastra Pradiva, I always think to have a valuable contribution to the field of science and innovation and my society must benefit from the inputs towards the achievements of modern science and technology. After becoming a Shah's Pratibha, Ansh has developed greater interest towards various concepts of science. He has become more confident and more aware about the science 
in the beginning of uh, field of science and he is more confident about how to elaborate the science before that for him science is a subject only but now he try to understand the concept understand the logic and main thing he is enjoying learning science i believe becoming shastra patra 2017 is a small step in providing a new generation of scientists and this achievement has instilled in me a desire, a strong passionate desire to explore these vast subjects further as well as to contribute as much as I can. I was the Shastra Pratibha in the years 2013 and 14. SIF Bahrain has embarked on this wonderful journey of selecting candidates to their Shastra Pratibha exam and then taking them to some of the most incredible scientific research establishments across our country places that they otherwise would never have gone. Over the year, our students visited ISRO, DRDO, Hindustan Aeronautic Limited in Bengaluru, Brahmos facilities in Delhi, Baba Atomic Research Center in Mumbai, RCSI in course in Hyderabad. I am thankful for SIF Bahrain for giving me the unique opportunity to be a part of Shastrayan 2017 to Mumbai with Advait. Due to the continuous efforts and dedication by SIF team members along with Vidyan Bharati, we were able to visit the most prestigious scientific institutions including BARC, IIGM, ICT and IIT Mumbai. The Shastrapatibads were already being treated as future scientists of India and we were welcomed warmly everywhere. The senior scientists there were impressed by the caliber of the students and were keen to interact with them, share their experiences and impart knowledge. Shastrapatibads are provided with a rare opportunity to visit various prominent scientific research institutes in India and also interact with the senior scientists through our flagship program Shastrayan. Meet the Scientist program is a platform for students, teachers and parents to interact with prominent scientists. Bahrain Students Innovation Congress, another flagship program of SIF Bahrain, screens projects for the National Children's Science Congress, a nationwide science camp being held every year in India. NCSE was a wonderful five-day program that helped me understand a lot about the scientific scenario in Bahrain as well as the technological developments taking place on a day-to-day -day basis. NCSE was a wonderful opportunity for me to meet with a lot of professors who are aspiring um, engineers from all around India to work towards improving the scientific screen in India. SIF Bahrain has been authorized by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India to do the screening of projects. National Science Congress, the preparation for it has ignited uh, the sparks of research, experimentation in them. They have become more inclined towards science. They have become more inquisitive to know more about science. Moreover, it has made them realize that learning science is not only for the marks, but it can be uh, used for uh, the development of society as well as the humanity. Over the past two years, BSIC have screened and selected projects in the junior and senior categories from the participating schools in Bahrain. During Dr. Kalam's visit to Bahrain in February 2015, our Shastra Pradivas had a unique opportunity to interact with him and those cherished moments will continue to drive them in their future endeavors. The Indian expatriate community enjoys great goodwill from the ruling family, the Bahraini authorities and the people of Bahrain in their day-to-day -day life. It includes providing proper environment for the students to study, develop their scientific aspirations and the congenial atmosphere provides a fertile ground for the development of every individual living in this country. <laughs> منذ 2014 حيث أن طريقة طرحهم لهذه البرامج العلمية جدير 
بالثناء والثقة ونيابة عن إخوتي في مجلس المحرق البلدي فإنني أتقدم بكل الشكر والتقدير والدعم والثناء على هذه المساعي الحميدة الرامية للنهوض بالواقع التعليمي والعلمي في آن واحد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته On behalf of the Embassy of India, I extend full support to the Science India Forum Bahrain and wish them all the best in their future endeavors. SIF Bahrain is deeply thankful to the Royal Family of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Royal Highness Sheikh Khalid, His Excellency Mr. Alok Kumar Sinha. Our Shastra Pradivas were honored for their excellence. in 2013 by Dr. G. Madhavan Nair, former chairman, ISRO. In 2014 by Dr. Manoj Kumar Pateria, additional director general, Prasar Bharati, India. In 2015 by His Excellency Alok Kumar Sinha, ambassador to Bahrain and Dr. Raju Naranaswamy. In 2016 by Dr. V. K. Saraswat, former director general of DRDO Today Science India Forum Bahrain is honoring the budding scientists in the land of pearls and on this occasion with their graceful presence here with us are Mr Anand Prakash second secretary embassy of India Kingdom of Bahrain and Professor V N Rajeshekaran Pillai former chairman University Grants Commission of India and former vice chancellor Indira Gandhi Open University on behalf of SIF Bahrain we welcome you all to this event this initiative of science india forum is a humble attempt towards nurturing the young minds to dream to achieve the impossible and bring about a change a change for the good